Harris. Sporting team work there, he's learning. What did your team learn from that tonight? Uh, we learned that we've got to be better with the ball first off. We've got to have more structure in our play to, uh, to get greater control of what we had. Um, and we didn't really deal with their uh, direct style. We don't come up with that against that a lot. Um, so we knew what was coming, we didn't deal with it well enough. And ultimately that, that's cost us in the game. Um, yeah, we were well in the game first half, and obviously the events happened in the second half, and it becomes a, a really difficult game when you have to turn around. So, a lot of, a lot of learning, uh, great event, a good night, and it's been a good talk. I suppose uh, a big positive from this is the fact that you're missing a few key players because they're with the first team. How, how does that make you feel that some of the new players are already with the first team and not playing this game tonight? That's what it's all about. It's that job, isn't it? So, uh, it's the more the more the better. Uh, they have to be ready when they go. Uh, players have impressed the manager uh, and they've had opportunities and we've got to keep doing that and we've got to make sure the next ones are ready and so we can transition as smooth as possible. Yeah. So what sort of lessons uh, can our youngsters learn from a nice like tonight? In control and possession, technically really good, but then some of the physical moments of adult football can, can sort of you know come unstuck a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Listen, I think you said it yourself there, so there was some good play, but if we weren't quite uh, structured enough in our position, so the good play was harder to come by. We should have had more moments than what we did. And then the physical side of it, you'd be better with the ball, you have less physical moments. So it, they go hand in hand. So we work with enough of the ball, um, we carry a threat, we've got good players, but we should have posed more of a threat. Uh, and then we didn't defend well enough on two or three, three occasions, the ball had to come back in the net twice, and we chased the game from that point. So uh, yeah, both ends of the pitch, uh, a little bit of structure. Take a lot from it. How do, you, how do you manage that that crossover when you're thinking, uh, okay, the, the client of, mine are ready for men's football, or maybe I should stay with us another year? What sorts of discussions happen, and how do you manage that, that crossover into men's football? Yes, yeah, so and obviously, the key staff meet on a regular basis to discuss what the right program or plan is for our players. The manager, uh, Darren Fletcher, on a big same to terms of the greatest development is in the building around world-class players. You can see that with Bobby, you can see that with some of the other boys' performances early on in the season. Uh, I've seen some players in the last couple of days for the first time in three or four weeks, and you can see a, a different intent and intensity to their training. So being around world-class players and world-class staff is only going to make them better, but sometimes the, the next bit means they need to go and play senior football elsewhere. So we have regular discussions around that. There's a lot of thought put into it. We generally get it right. Uh, there's always a risk that loans don't quite work, um, but players shouldn't be uh, overly judged on their first loans either. It's, uh, it's a difficult transition, it's not easy. And uh, so I think because the football club get it right more times than not, individuals do progress, but it's not, it's not a straightforward um, process. Well, quickly on Johnny Evans back in the fold. How have the fitted that you've slotted in well and some of the young players learned a little bit from Johnny yeah. as well? Brilliant about the group, coming from training, uh, passing on experience to the staff, to the players, just fit straight in, and uh, he's, a, he's a fantastic human being uh, with great experience. So it's for him to be around our lads, much like Todd Woodward's been, to have those players around him on a, on a regular basis to know the development of our players. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Well.